Today we will be using PTC Pro Desktop, which is a computer-aided drafting or CAD program to construct a cube, which obviously, because it's a cube, has to have a length, a width, and a height that are all equal. To do this, we're going to use the toolbar on the right side of the screen and some basic tools from the menus up top. First, we're going to start with the rectangle tool, which is about halfway down on the right-hand side. I'm going to left click once on the rectangle tool and you'll notice my cursor changes into a pencil. On the work plane, which is represented by this green square, I'm going to left click and drag out a rectangle. Well, because I want a cube, I need to make sure that the length and the width of this rectangle are both equal in length. So to do this, I'm going to use the sketch dimension tool, which is the bottom tool on the right hand side. I'm going to left click one time and select on the sketch dimension tool. I need to select an edge, so I'm going to left click and release one time and you'll notice that the edge is red now. I'm going to left click and drag a dimension line out and do the same thing to a side adjacent to this. So I will left click and release one time and then I will left click and drag a dimension line out. To change these dimensions so that they're equal, I need to get the Select Constraints tool, which is the second tool from the top on the right hand side. I'll left click once to select this tool, and I'll double click on one of the constraints. You'll notice a properties box pops up, and it says length 1. I'm going to change length 1 to 150 millimeters, and click OK. You'll notice that this side expanded to be 150 millimeters, and the side opposite also expanded to be 150 millimeters because I used the rectangle tool, so opposite sides have to be equal. I now need to change the other dimension. I'm going to double click on that dimension thing and get a properties box that pops up. In here I'm going to change the length to 150 millimeters as I did the width. I will click OK and you'll notice that I now have a square. It's kind of tough to see this because I'm in an isometric view. So I'm going to switch to an overhead view by holding down the shift key and clicking W which is view on the work plane. Part of my image is outside of the viewing area, so I will hold down shift and hit A to auto scale it and put it all in the viewing window. You'll notice I have a square now with four equal sides, both all four being 150 millimeters. Going back to an isometric view by holding down shift and hitting I, and then holding down shift and hitting A to auto scale it, I still have my square, but I need to make it three dimensional. So to make it three dimensional, I will go to the feature menu at the top of the screen. I'm going to left click on extrude profile and I'll get an extrude profile box that pops up. You need to notice a few things about this. Number one, to take a two dimensional object and make it three dimensional, I need to add material. So add material needs to be selected as it is. The distance, well, I need the height to be the same as the length and the width were. So I'm going to change it to 150 millimeters. You'll also notice that above work plane is selected, which means it's putting it on top of the work plane that I was working with. Just to show you, I'm going to use symmetric about work plane, which means that the work plane will actually divide my cube in half. When I click OK, you'll notice I now have a three-dimensional object. Because part of this is outside of our viewing screen, I'm going to hold down the shift key and hit A to auto scale it, and you'll notice that now I have a cube. Using the arrow keys, I can spin this cube around so that you can see all the sides are equal in length, and I indeed do have a cube. This concludes our lesson with PTC Pro Desktop.